household name as a wisecracking bailiff on the 80s sitcom Night Court. When I tell you, she inspired me to work in comedy, and today I want to shine my spotlight on her because she's been such an influence in my life. I even named one of our green rooms after her. Please welcome Marsha Warfield. <laughs> season I for know, you. I know, I know. I'm so happy to be here I... to finally make it. Oh, my God. Was... Oh, I could have walked here from uh, Vegas. No, we didn't want you to walk. We wanted to <laughs> bring you out here. Took... What'd you bring your shoes for? Be just so you know, I have them. Uh... <laughs> See, why you walked out with the shoes right See, here? Those are my feminine side shoes. People don't understand that I do have a feminine side. I've just been keeping her in the closet. Okay, okay. See how she likes it. <laughs> but, and she's usually cool, but shoe stores, yeah, she loses her mind. Okay. And so I'm trying to get in and go straight to the sensible shoe, to the lesbian yeah. shoe department. <laughs> and she's like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> and so I end up buying the shoes, but my shoes have time limits. Okay. Those are five minute shoes. Yeah, yeah, I understand. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And, and, and then we passed 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> These are all day. All right, those are all day. Right. And you need to be happy and comfortable. Yes. I am so glad you're here. I, you know, when we were redoing our green rooms, I said, one has to be Marsha Warfield. So you were in there. How did you, how did we do? You blew me away from the time I first heard about it. Oh, man. And when I... When I heard who else has a, had that honor, I was even more blown away to be in that company, to even be thought of. Oh, with of Whoopi in that Joan sentence. and Lucille Ball, to yes. even be thought of in that sentence. Absolutely, just, Marcia. I, I am so honored, and uh, and don't make me cry, because then I have to hurt you. Too. <laughs> Well, I don't want to be hurt <laughs> except by joy in my heart. I just got to say, you've been a huge influence on my career, Marsha, ever since I saw you, to be a comedic actress, ever since I saw you on Night Court. Yeah. And when you were on Night Court, it was like, we watched that every week. How did that show change your life? Oh, immediately. You know, uh, I, I joined the cast after the tragedies of the first two bailiffs yes. passing away. And people asked me, and, and it's so indelicate, I shouldn't say this. What? But they asked me how I felt, you know, getting the job after those circumstances. Right. I said, well, it is tragic, but I'd have killed a couple more white women to get the job. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> to be honest, because to watch you, <laughs> to see you, <laughs> and this is why I loved you, to see a black bailiff on there and you were a stand-up comic. Yes. And it was just, and it did, did it change your life, like, being on that show? Immediately. That's, I tell people in this business, young people, and they want to quit, I don't quit. Yeah. It only takes one gig. Ooh. When you get the one right gig, yes. your life changes. It can happen at the beginning of your career, which is kind of a curse. But for me, I was about 15 years into it, yeah. and I got night court, and immediately I went from being an observer to being observed. Yes. <laughs> and it was, uh... You know, you took 20 years off from show business and then you returned in the show 911. Right. Be when you got getting back in that game in 911, how did that feel? It was terrifying. Was it? <laughs> I mean, you, okay, Angela Bassett. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh huh. And then Aisha is amazing. Aisha Hines, Aisha oh my God. Is just yes. amazing. And to be have to do scenes with her yes. and, and match it. And after not having been involved uh, for so long, I, I was just lucky I had the right haircut at the time. Yeah, because y'all have the same kind of <laughs> yeah. hair. Y'all have the same <laughs> yeah. kind of hair.